Welcome back, guys, to Super Mario Sunshine. When we left off, Blue Mario, or what, whatever you want to call him for now, just took Peach, so... Let's make short work of this. There we go. That wasn't hard at all. Ow, 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 not fair, completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Alright, I'm sure I saw that person out on the airstrip. I'm positive he's responsible for all this. Chase him. Okay. We get to go to our first um, level, I guess you could say. Bianco Hills. It's very peaceful, isn't it? We came in here chasing some dude, and then suddenly we get here and it's all completely peaceful. That's nice. Okay, well. Nope. So there's a lot here, like blue coins and secrets around this place, but we're gonna ignore those for now and get those another time. Like I said before. So as you can see here, here's a blue coin right here. But all these will be shown in the end. We don't have to clean all this up, but, you know. Why not? Lengthen this episode a bit. We don't have to rush, do we? One thing I've always questioned about this game are these, these things. Why do they look like Petty Piranha's head? What are they, even? This level is incredibly easy. It's again, it's one of these things. These things are just the easiest boss, and they don't, they're not always here, but in the earlier levels, you see a lot of these. Okay, get out of your little volcano. Jesus Christ. Indestructible. And for some reason at the end, those little blob things, they go and they commit suicide. Literally every time you beat something like this, those little guys will just go to the nearest water source. I don't understand why, they're just programmed to do that, but... Whatever. Second shine spray. I wonder if each type of goop has some sort of, like, taste. Like, it seems like it, like they each have, they each taste like something. I mean, I always thought the brown one looked like chocolate, you know, but... It seems to just be, like, a poisonous type thing. Same with, like, the orange goop. Either way, let's, uh... We might as well go in here. There's no point doing anything else. We need to do something in this episode. Down with Petty Piranha. Oh, yes! This is a fun level. We get to face a new, uh, a different boss, other than those goddamn little, uh, goopy things. So a little fact about this mission. If I wanted to, I could have completely skipped the first one and come and done this one. It isn't always like that, but for some reason, you can, Petty Prawn is just, he's just there in the first one. I don't really understand why, but they decided, you know, Hey, let's just let Petty Piranha be here, why not? I have done it before, but there really isn't much point. So, when you get back, this is just completely covered in goo again. And if you heard that, Petty Piranha actually fires stuff at you. Wait for it. Boom. 
so that's interesting. Oh yeah, and this bridge is out. It'll it'll be back later in the in the levels, but for now I don't understand it. It's out. It's only like half built. Like there's a little bit of the chain link area, but I wonder who did that. Oh god. Oh god. Stop it. This level always kind of reminds me, ow, of um, the Super Mario 64 one with the uh, the big uh, the bomb, the Bob Bomb King. I don't. Oh god. Oh god. I don't have any water. Need water. Convenient fountain. But yeah, it reminds me of that because you're just going in a circle up a hill, and there's always these, these little uh, problem areas, like these vines coming down or the goop. There's little obstacles you have to avoid, and it, it just kind of reminds me of that. How did this guy even get up here? Could you help out with the big-headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it? Yeah, no problem. Oh god damn it. Why didn't I fall on top of the thing? And there it goes. It's going without me. Where's the next one? Okay, we just gotta... There we go. And now we just need to wait. I guess from here we can just enjoy the scenery of brown goop. If I... Yeah, that's right. I have a map. So, where is this? If I'm correct, I think the volcano is somewhere around here. The volcano represents the, the blowhole of the dolphin, because you see it's a... Uh, the Isle of Delf Delfino is a dolphin. So I'm pretty sure the, the volcano is like the blowhole. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so there's the shine spray, right? Now, I wish you could get it, but as soon as you get close, it starts a cutscene. It's all good though, there's absolutely no dialogue in this cutscene because, uh, Petty Piranha is too stupid to talk and for some reason Mario's a mute. Kind of. He only talks to Toadsworth. In this game, for some reason, Mario only ever talks to Toadsworth and you can't even hear what he's saying. And he only does it once. Okay, so. This is the first encounter with Petty Piranha. There are others, but this is the first and easiest one. All you gotta do is wait till he opens his mouth and uh, fill his stomach with water. And then obviously, I wonder what I need to do here. They give you an arrow. What to do. So now I think he gets pissed. No, I keep forgetting. He doesn't do much this one. You just need to wait. He, he kind of watches you. And you just need to stay a current, like, a distance away. Because then he'll spin. And do that. And then you fill his stomach. If you don't, um, shoot water at him quick enough, he'll actually just barf out some goo. So there really isn't much of a negative effect. Oh god. Oh god. Where did you come from? Nope. Oh, see? If you don't hit him constantly, he stops. And As you can see, he's gotten a little bit fatter. I didn't hit him enough, but... Yeah, if you stop, he gets a little bit fatter and keeps going. And like every Mario game, there is the rule of three, so... You only have to hit him three times. And there you go. He's one of the easier bosses. They're later... Oh god, I missed it. There are harder bosses. And we'll get to them. It gets pretty hard later on. But right now, we're, we're still in the really easy levels. So, for now, I'll just try to do these as fast as I can. And get to the more entertaining levels. Hmm... We could go do that, 
but I don't think I want to do that just right now. There's only five minutes left. You know what we can do? Let's go do a, a special mission. What's this toad have to say? Stop for a minute. A long time ago, Yoshi's lived on this island as well. Yep. Yoshi's lived on this island, and we'll eventually see them. But that won't be for a while. For some reason, Yoshi's don't come for a while, and there's some sort of, there's a certain level that actually activates the Yoshi's, and then once you get the Yoshi's, you get the other power-ups for the, the flood thing. Okay, so, since we only have a, a little bit more time, we're gonna go ahead and do this mission. It's just a really super easy mission. There are other pipes like this in, um... What is it? Isle Delfino? The Isle of Delfino. But this is the first one you can really access. There is one more, but it's... It's not really... I don't think it's really accessible just yet. So, for now, we'll just do this one. This is really easy, too. Like, it seems like it's hard, but it really isn't. And I think I did this in the Dazzle Test, one of them. Yeah, I think I did this in Dazzle Test 1, when I didn't have any commentary. Damn, I still have quite a few more time. What should I do? I guess I will do that. I'm, I don't really have to go in the level. Though. What used to be there was the house that exchanges the, um, the blue coins for shine sprites, if you were wondering, so... We might as well fight him and get rid of him. But we're not actually going to go into the level, because about three of these appear, three of these bosses on Isle Delfino. But, um, what was I saying? Three of these appear, and then they open up three different levels. Oh, right, yeah, this guy doesn't go to the rule of three. He goes to, like, the rule of six. He goes back in and he spawns more of these guys, but they're not really that helpful at all. And... Gotcha. So there you go. Another level to open up, but... I don't really want to do that right now, because... I can't remember what the first level... Oh, right, it's another boss. We don't need to fight another boss. How many bosses have we fought in this level? We fought, like... Three. That was the third one we fought. I guess I can show you the other levels before we end off. So, first one is, um, is this one. But you need Yoshi to actually get it. You need to eat the pineapple with the Yoshi. Next one. There's a cannon way over there, and, uh, that won't be activated for a while. There's a certain sequence which activates it. There's a scene that you need to do. So that cannon will shoot you off to, like, a theme park place. Uh, after a certain amount of time, that big thing on the floor over there... Oh god. I'm in the water now. But yeah, this area... There's, like, light that surrounds this area, and you need to look up into the sun to activate it. There's another pipe way on top of that thing, and that's actually my favorite place. Out of any of the places. Okay, we're gonna need that coin. And then lastly is the, uh... Okay, come on, do the jump. Screw it. Oh wow, I forgot. This is be back. Last place is that lighthouse. And it opens up right there. So there will be a, another boss there. Later on, after we visited the, uh, the place. And I think that's all the places you can visit. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Let's go make a quick shine sprite and end the episode. Oh, and here, we'll do this sometime, just as like a filler. There are three things we, like, t uh, three Shine Sprite possibilities in here. You just have to talk to this guy and break all the boxes in a certain amount of time. We'll do that eventually, but, oh god, where am I? We needed that coin. And I tried this in the Dazzle Test, but it didn't really work. 
Okay, let's see if I can actually get it to work this time. Okay, yeah, I got it to work this time. So you just need to give that guy a coin, and he throws you right into the shine spray. So what is that, like three shine sprites? I think so. Because we made like, I think we got one in the first one. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yep. So that, that makes sense. I was hoping actually that, or I was, I was actually hoping that would happen because I wasn't sure if you don't go in the, uh, the other place that we defeated, if the, the black ooze would just come back, but I guess not. So I guess in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll do maybe a couple more levels in here and we'll, we'll go clean up that goop over by the lighthouse. So that's it for this episode. There wasn't, there wasn't much, but we got like three shine sprites and I'm going to keep a track of how many shine sprites we get an episode, you know? Just so we know, so we can count them all down. Anyway, that's it, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time.